Jim Bolden is in Oslo, capital of a nation in mourning. And Jim, it must be unsettling hearing about the presence of this manifesto for so many people in that country. Yeah, I think as Norwegians wake up this morning, that's what they might be focusing on because as we've been talking about, they still have so many questions and no answers, frankly, about why one of their own uh, and fellow Norwegian would have done this. But this, this 1,500 page manifesto is out there now. Now, CNN cannot independently verify that it was written by Anders Breivik, but it does have the, his name on this, and that's the name the local media say is the 32-year-old who's been arrested and charged in these two terror attacks. And he talks in this manifesto about a European civil war to banish Muslims and to, and to execute a cultural, and execute cultural Marxists. And he goes on to talk a lot about a European civil war sometime later in this century. It's 1,500 pages, apparently, and it has pictures of himself, and it talks about up to the very day on Friday when the uh, bomb first went off in Oslo just a few uh, yards from here, Madeline. Certainly unsettling, the pictures accompanying his manifesto. So that's one part of the story. But for the most part, it's just a time of grief there in Norway and so many families suffering, Jim. Is there anything that's being planned for today uh, regarding that? Yes, in about four hours' time at the church behind me, the Domkirka will be a memorial service. Uh, out front of it, there's already, uh, since last night, there's a lot of flowers and candles, uh, teddy bear signs and, and letters and things that have been left out. As you see many times after a tragedy, we're expecting members of the Norwegian royal family and possibly the prime minister as well to be here at this church service. Uh, it kicks off at around 11 o'clock Norway uh, time. And uh, it, it really has been a focus, I think, for people in the last day or so that they've needed to come someplace uh, because so many of those kids, of course, that were killed were killed on an island uh, west of, northwest of Oslo. And so this church has become a focus for those who, who want to share their.